open your mind to what is happening in the world, in your field, in your profession, right? A lot of us women here, where do we learn makeup? <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! I'm makeup, right? I'm also part of those views. But when we go online and we find videos of things like uh, makeup, and they compare to the video of financial intelligence, you see that the view something is missing, right? So, as much as we want to look good, as much as we, are, we want to find the latest trends in fashion, latest trends in hair, and all of that, we should be able to find the latest trends in our industry and how it's changing our particular industry. Find the latest trends that can also help you better manage your life as a mom, as a wife, as a father, as a husband, and all of that. Right? That's being a lifelong learner. Be curious. If you notice when I was sharing my story, I mentioned that. Out of curiosity, I was like, what is driving attention? And that curiosity put me in the path in which I am today. So be able to ask yourself questions. Be curious. Alright? Not that type of curiosity where people are having a conversation and you're like, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay? Just be curious about life, about yourself, about your profession. And things like that. Curiosity is really about the ability and habit to apply a sense of wonder. Right? Staying hungry for new information gives you an age. It gives you balance and value. Curious people are always trying new things, asking questions, searching for answers, questioning conventional thinking. Do you ask questions or you the type that when they say, does no one have a question? If I ask, then you laugh at me. Okay, go and ask them, Google, Google would laugh at you, right? <laughs> Whatever bizarre question you don't want to ask them properly, just go and ask and you'll find the answers, okay? Improve your emotional intelligence. Are there people that don't want to show up to work on Monday? Not because they don't like their job, but because they are waiting. Have an encounter with certain people? This way emotional intelligence comes in. Okay? It's really about the measure of your ability to maintain peace with others, keep to time, be responsible, honest, no, respect boundaries, humble, genuine, and considerate. Emotional intelligence is your ability to recognize and manage your emotions and the emotions of other people. When it comes to managing our emotions, you might be like, yeah, I'm on board for that. Why should I manage the emotions for that person? If you're not able to manage the emotions of someone else, there will always be chaos and conflict all the time. What do I mean by managing the emotions of someone else? If someone just lashed out with you, you know, for something you were completely, you don't even know what's going on, how are you going to respond to that? How you respond to that determines how you manage the emotions of other people. If you lash back, it's like using fire to quench fire, right? Even firefighters, they use fire to quench fire. What do they use? Water. Water. So that is managing your emotions and the emotions of other people. If you're going through something, don't vomit on other people. Learn to regulate your own emotions. That's what emotional intelligence is all about. And this is one of the key skills for the world in which we're living now and for the future of work. Being able to regulate your own emotions. Because some people are just chaos. Some people are at a time of waiting to explore. But you need to get to that point where you are able to manage the emotions and the emotions of other people. You self but we have empathy, you know, self regulate social skills. Is it possible to find balance if you're always on the edge? If you're always at war with people? If you're always fighting, always in conflict? Can we find balance that way? We can't, right? So this is quite an important skill or an important tool for us to be able to find balance in our life, which is very much the same thing, you know, developing soft skills. That's another, another word for it. Maybe the one that is more familiar with the, with the corporate world, soft skills, right? People usually get fired for their technical skills, but most of the time, people get fired for lack of soft skills. Am I right? It shows you how important it is. Imagine having a brilliant colleague who knows everything. Whether it's finance, marketing, whatever, they are brilliant in their job, but they are paid to do. Anyone have an experience like that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's how important soft skills are. 